Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on our normal Sunday. Yes, I'm really late today. I apologize. Anyway, I have something really quick for you today. Today we have the Seiko My Desktop Alarm Clock. This is model number QHE184ELH. They come in multiple different colorways. Uh, this Pepsi version is my favorite. And actually this Pepsi version is sold out on Seiko's website. So if you wanna get one of these, head on over to my Amazon channel. I've got it over there and they've got multiple different colorways of this thing. Anyway, gonna be a really quick video because there's not really you know too much to go over about this you know desktop alarm clock. Anyway, let's check it out. Get into this thing, but first you gotta check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches or this one that I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know the spiel. So check out my Amazon store if you like this thing and pick yourself up one. They're only 45 bucks. Spoiler alert, they're really, really cheap. Anyway, here's the box, who cares? <laughs> it comes with a little manual, a little warranty card, uh, and a picture of the model that you're getting on the box. This again is the Pepsi version. There's your box, yada, yada, yada. There's the model number, it says Seiko, yada, yada, yada. Who cares? All right, here is the clock itself. Really good looking. I mean, I, I like this thing a lot, man. Uh, and you know, it's supposed to look like an SKX or like some sort of Seiko diver. You know, it's got the bezel. This bezel does not turn. This bezel is not loomed. It's just supposed to look like a dive watch. It's got a little angle on the bottom where it sits down like that. And as you can see, the top is supposed to look like a crown. This is actually your light and your snooze button. And the funny thing is, is these markers are actually loomed as well as the hour and minute hand. You can notice that it has a smooth sweeping second hand. This thing is dead silent. Absolutely love it. It works off a one double A battery, which is actually included. Now it's one of those cheap like Maxell batteries or something. So you're gonna wanna pop a Duracell in there or something like that. Uh, the indexes are um, not applied, they are screen printed. They do have a generous amount of loom. The hour hand has loom in it, the minute hand has loom in it. The uh, second hand, again, is a smooth sweeping, it's all chromed out. The bezel itself is chromed out as well. I mean, it looks from afar, it looks like a legit metal bezel. They did a really good job on this thing. Again, there's the crown, obviously non-signed. <laughs> Uh, and that is your, obviously, that is also your snooze and your light button. I'll kill the studio light here in a second. Obviously, you know, if you wanted to do Invicta big, there you go. That's what it looked like. That's what an Invicta looks like. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Anyway, I think this thing is like 3.75 uh, inches. So it's not a huge alarm clock. It's perfect for the desk. I mean, it's really, it's perfect. Any actually, you know, anywhere you want to put it, your desk. I actually have mine right on top of my computer. Uh, so I can just look up and see what time it is. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the back of it real quick. It does have a really nice, this case color reminds me of that Seiko, I can't remember the name of that watch, Blue Butterfly. It just reminds me of that watch. Let me put that up on the left-hand side. This color case reminds me of that watch for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, here's the case back. Real simple, you got an on-off button for the alarm. And then you pull um, out for the time, and then you keep it pushed in for the alarm. And let me show you what this alarm sounds like. It says on Sega's website, this will wake up even the heaviest sleeper. It will not. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you this thing will not wake up anybody. So let's just go ahead and actually what, uh, it's what, 5 o'clock on uh, today, which is Sunday. Let's just go ahead and push the alarm on. And I'm going to let you know what this alarm sounds like. Again, it also flashes and it beeps, um, but guys, it's it's not loud. Let me turn out the light. Let me show you. I mean, that wouldn't wake me up. Maybe it'll wake up some light sleepers, but it definitely would not wake me up. All right, so go ahead and hit your snooze button right there. And then look at the uh, the LED. It slowly fades away, which I think is kind of a neat touch. I mean, it really slowly fades away. Hit it again. It does a pretty good job of lighting up the whole dial. Pretty good. There you go, it fades away again. Let me go ahead and zap these uh, markers. 
Pretty decent loom for a little alarm clock. There you go. Actually, let me kill these monitors too. That'll probably help out a little bit. There you go. Let me zap it again real quick. And I don't know if this is Seiko's Lumabrite. I would guess it probably is. Uh, pretty good job, man. All right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on. Again, this is going to be a very short video. The watch I wanted to do, I just couldn't get all the information I needed uh, to do that review today. Anyway, that'll probably be up in the next couple days. Uh, so you'll have some extra content next week. But uh, let me go ahead and just look around here. You got a little sticker here at the bottom. Uh, you know, it looks like some, you know, UK, Canada, some sort of regulations. They have to put the sticker on there. Here is the, uh, the battery tray. Now on the website, the made in China is not on there on the back of the watch. I guess the Chinese wanted to make sure you knew that it was made in China. So there you go. All right. Then you just cut off the alarm right there. And then, uh, guys, that's, that's it, man. Again, bezel doesn't rotate. Bezel is also not loomed. So anyway, if you want to get one of these, head on over to um, to Amazon. Again, these are $45. They come in multiple different colorways. They've got a white dial. They've got a blue dial. They've got a green dial. They've got a black and gold. Uh, they've got multiple different uh, versions of this thing. And again, this one, for some reason, this Pepsi version is sold out on Seiko's website. It's not even on their website anymore, which is kind of odd. I guess this is the most popular one. So head on over there and pick one up if you like it. I, I think they're fantastic. So anyway, guys, it's been about it for me. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I appreciate it when you do it. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you hopefully in probably another couple of days. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.